Today, I'll be reviewing with you how to get API access keys in Kion. First, you want to ensure that API key generation is enabled in Kion. You can go to settings, then system settings, scroll down to app API key access. Here, first you want to toggle on the app API key generation button. Second, you can set the limit of how many keys per user are needed. You can also set the lifespan of each key. In this case, we are setting the lifespan to 14 days. Next, you want to ensure the proper permissions are given to the user to be able to generate and use API keys. Go to settings, then permissions. In this instance, we'll be going to the global permission scheme. We will search for API. There are various different permissions regarding API keys. This one gives you only browse permissions. This allows you to manage all AWS API keys. And the second allows you to manage the app API keys for users. This permission is managed on app API keys. This allows a user to generate, edit, and delete their own keys. This is mostly relatable for all users. We can see that we are part of this permissions, so we are good to go. The API key is generated on the top corner. Click the drop down arrow, select app API keys. Here you can generate your own API key by clicking the add button, type in a desired name, and create the key. You can copy the key right from the prompt and close it out. You can now use this key in your own terminal to run commands. We also offer some Swagger documentation to view our public endpoints. In this, first you'll have to authorize yourself. Be sure to write the term bearer, space, and then your API key. Go ahead, authorize, and close out. Here, all the public endpoints are given, and you can test or try them out. In this instance, we'll attempt to get a list of all the AWS accounts in this application. I'm going to click Try It Out and Execute. We can see we got a 200 response body with all the data below. This completes the API key tutorial. If you have any questions, you can visit our support center to view any documentation or contact our support team. Thank you.